to another episode of Dorks and Bolts, episode number five, five four, seven, six, I don't know. Mm -hmm. We lost track of it, but uh, it's uh, somewhere in between four and six, <laughs> so five. <laughs> in this episode, we're gonna do the ATM wiring. So what we're gonna do is, first of all, do an adapter for connecting the old TCV plug to the new ATM and put the plugs uh, from the ATM to the head unit, which we passed a few episodes ago. And if you haven't seen it, check that one out there. And let's get done with this. Yeah, that's my face though. Yeah. <laughs> I'll post it don't on don't check that. <laughs> check that thing out. <laughs> okay, so we're back at the mad scientist chair. And what we're gonna do is gonna create our own harness for connecting the ATM connect to the old TCB so we don't have to remove any wires from uh, from that plug then this one that is going to connect to the new ATM module which is this tiny micro connectors then we have so this goes from the old TCB to the to the new ATM plus these other two that will go kind of like this that would be the configuration that we need. So what we need to do is just create our harness, which will connect every pin here to these other three, and we don't we don't have to remove anything from the original plug. So there we go. This pin on the TCB it's called uh, it's eight two three one one B. It's it's the blue connector and we have to figure out what the pin assignment, assignments are from the chart right next to this. So we know that in number one, on that plug we have power and we have to keep passing that. So we know that right now on this one, we are going to connect the cable on number one to connect directly to that plug and get power supply. And as we can imagine, this is as exciting as watching paint dry again. I'm gonna speed up this procedure so you can just look at the diagram that we have next to this uh, video and pin exactly how it goes. So one goes from the original plug, goes to number 13 in our um, plug that we're creating with the male pins and keep following the chart and then split up that cable through uh, all the way to the other pins, uh, to the other connectors. <clears throat> we have our we have our cables for the audio. We have the micro 
plugs on this side and the male connectors on this side. The male connectors are gonna go to our TCB plug and this ones will go to the small uh, connector to the ATM. And there you go, after almost two and a half hours of dealing with wires, this is what our harness look like. So in this, this two can be closed. This one is already like the power and the uh, crash signals. And this one is basically the FZD options. This one will go on the for, foremost, um, the, the outer plug. This one goes in the middle plug and this one goes to the plug on the right. This one we haven't closed yet because there's a there's a couple of wires here. There are three wires that we need to put from the cable that we uh, pass through the entire car to the back that will go in pin one, I'm, I'm sorry, two, three, and four will be uh, the wires that we passed from the cabin to the back on the trunk and uh, from the with the um, cat cat six uh, wire and we'll we'll do that we still have some some pins left that we can still use downstairs uh, but we'll have to do that directly in the car fortunately we don't have any we couldn't do that outside because the mail delivery failed us for that specific, specific uh, wire. But, well, there you go, so this is it. If you think that it's not worth to spend two and a half hours doing this, they do sell this in, on eBay and you can find it. But, you know, for me, it was kind of uh, interesting do it, doing it myself and, you know, just learning a few things. And, uh, yeah, so let's go install this thing in the car. So we left this really, really long pigtail here for the, the one that comes from the uh, MBT. We're gonna pass it through here. Then we're gonna just reunite re the cable with this pigtail here. And we are gonna use our adapter that we just created in here. So let's get to it. Okay, so off camera. I taped here and here and now we are here to be ready to we're gonna unplug we are going to unplug this here we go no power goes here ground and same thing here we have uh, we have our power and ground so we can check those and then we know that all pins match exactly where they're supposed to connect and we just plug this in. Of course this is easier when we have two hands. So following the same pattern that we did in the front, we're gonna use the orange as our shield and we're gonna use the green ones for the um, transmission of data plus and minus and uh, I should say TX and RX but anyway so uh, we're gonna just I'm gonna just put the, uh, the the pins in here and then we we will put them in the respective case in here and with that we're done this adapter 
done the cabling we have all our things and we have made this little kind of big tape here we are ready also with our wi-fi antenna we're just waiting on the on the uh um plastic cover for this so we can just plug it in but we have received our atm module and we're ready to finish this install for once and for all so we can just coat it and enjoy this thing um, so as I told you before this cable right now is gonna be uh, basically left here because there's no use for this there's nothing that can be used on the head unit for that one but everything else it's uh, functional and ready to go And we just need to put the three things here. And if you didn't know, the BMW screwdriver also can be used to tighten nuts. You just have to put this thing here, like this. Take your nut here, and then just twist it. We are done with the ATM. Everything is good to go. We are done with this part of the car. I hope I don't have to see it ever again. But who am I kidding? I know that I will be here in no time for some something else. Now let's go wire the MBT. So for the, the cables that go to the trunk, we are gonna use, like I said, we need a shield, a white and a green. So the shield wire, I'm thinking that we're gonna use two to make it um, one solid wire. So we're gonna use the orange as the shield. Then we are gonna use <clears throat> the green as one of the, we're gonna use green and green white since they're, uh, laced together and we are just going to remove these other two that we don't need these other wires we don't we don't need so might as well just cut them off so let's start with this we're done now it's time to put this all on this plug the numbers don't go one two uh, ten they go one two three four five six seven eight nine eight, etc so we need to figure it out where these plugs go this twisted pairs will go in this four right here and this ones and 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 this ones that go back to the ATM module will go on this side. The green one goes into pin into the pin 17. So as I said, they go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 15 14 15 16 17. So green will go on the top one.
now for installing this on the MBT we have this new plug we have this one for the Wi-Fi antenna Bluetooth and this USB 2 that I was going to retrofit to communicate to the USB in the armrest but since I'm gonna put instead I'm gonna use the um, wireless uh, adapter I'm not gonna use this plug so I'm just gonna leave it empty so what we do is just plug as we would normally do and that's it we're done So thanks for watching that episode and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh, like, subscribe and if you have any other questions about how to do this wiring harness, just let us know in the comments and this is normal after you try to do this cable, like your hands will end up like this, but that's, that's the game. So thank you and see you next time. Bye.